hope you're all seeing Cam Wee back to the channel with another unboxing. By the size of this pillow, you should be able to tell that there's something interesting. There's something interesting in here. Look at how healthy this pillow is. What's in here? What's in here? I want to see this as bad as you guys want to see this. Let me give you guys a hint and say this is the first time ever, 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 ever we've unboxed this line on this channel. So I'm excited for not only that, I'm also a fan of the person behind it. The goods is here, the goods is here. All right, let's go one at a time. If you don't know, now you know. King Spider on this channel, not only any King Spider, this is the colorway I've been wanting for a while. This is the colorway I've been wanting for a while. The brown with the pink and the red, and the little yellow stars in the background, fire, fire. It looks even doper in person. We got a full sweatsuit. You guys know I'm not really the biggest fan of wearing full sweatsuits, top and bottoms at the same time, but pieces like this, I can mix and match with something else. Like I'll wear these sweats with a different hoodie, or I'll wear these sweats with like a simple tee, put on some kicks, wear the hoodie, something else. Also, on the days I wanna stunt, or I really, 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 really wanna be on some cozy shit, then yeah, I guess we'll wear the suit together. But this was an investment that I needed because I can wear, I can make a lot of fits out of just the sweats, also just the hoodie, so I was happy to have this. And and you guys know we're big fans of Young Thug on this channel, so what better time than now to support Thugger, Free Thugger, Free Thugger, or Free Jeffrey. Whatever way you want to say it. Let's first start off with the hoodie, then we can go through the sweatpants, and we'll do a try on. And you know, at the end, I zoom up and I show you guys, show you guys all the details on both of the pieces, tags, and all, so you don't get hit with no foo foo lame. We did a size large in both, I believe. We did a size large in both. I believe. Let's double check that. As you guys can see here, this is the spider hoodie in the brown, pink, and red colorway with again the yellow stars in the background. The yellow, the stars also have a five inside of all of them. So that's a cool little detail to see in the back, but not every single star has a five. There's some that do not have the five, so keep that in mind. So there's some that do and there's some that don't. That's also something else to look for when you're buying one to make sure you don't get a fake one. Every yellow star better not have a five, but they also, some of them better have a five. You better not just have all blank yellow stars because that's also a little weird we have spider going across it in puff print in pink with the with the red spider web in the back the material to the sweater is nice thick and as I've been telling you guys for a while I hate that I'm always ahead of everybody people are like you're tripping I always said I wasn't the biggest fan of neck strings bro I did not like neck strings and hoodies people said I was tripping because they used to like pull them down tying them around never was I a fan so I'm super happy we don't see no neck strings in this hoodie as well you guys continue seeing the stars going down the sleeves left and right left and right have stars going down the sleeves also even the hood has the stars even the top of the hood but not both sides of the hood only one side of the hood has the stars which I'm which in this case it's the left side so the left side has the stars going around the hood as you guys can see there I'll show you a little bit of better details at the end this side has nothing on it at all something else to look for in case you're buying one of these hoodies in aftermarket we bought this sweater from the source himself the site had a restock we bought this back in december i want to say when they did those like seven days of different drops from king spider we ended up catching it on one of the days let me go through the retail with you guys as well okay so i just went back to see when we ordered it when we received it we ordered this on december 29th it was out for delivery february 25th and i believe we got it around the end of feb actually no like the first week of march i I believe. Uh, either the end of Feb, first week of March, and let me see all the details to the order. All right, so it was actually delivered on the 25th of March. Let's see the order details. I even forgot the. Let's see the order details so we can see the retail. Okay, so after tax and all, the sweatsuit came out to 415.36. The hoodie was 200 flat. The sweatpants was 175. Taxes 25 and shipping 15, which brought us to a total of one of a total of 415.36. Which I wasn't too shocked that it took about two months after ordering cactus. Is Jack. I'm already expecting that with a lot of these rapper streetwear brands. I'm like, all right, it's gonna take a minute to ship. I already got that in my mind. The colors that released that week was lime green, 
powder blue, well, sky blue, purple, those are, yeah, and the brown that we got here. Those are the four that released. They were hard. I feel like we should have copped all of them. That blue is really crazy. I definitely should have went for that one as well. But those were, I was thinking more about flipping. I wanted the brown. I always said if I got my fingers on this one, I wanted this part of my personal collection. I'm a big fan of this brown. I just popped up Stock X to just see what has recently been selling at. It looked like the last three sales of it was all 227. Current lowest ask right now is 228. Highest bid 185. Once again, last three sales, 227. Not in the market right now to sell this. This is something that's gonna be added to my collection. Big fan of Jeffrey. I've been wanting something from this brand for quite a while already. No print in the back, just in case you was wondering. There is nothing on the back, which I am happy. I do not like big prints like this in the front and then something crazy in the back as well. So I'm happy for that. The quality for this feels great. It's a heavy hoodie, which I love. You've, you're not mad at paying $200 or something like that. Now when you get a paper thin hoodie and you pay $200 for it, you feel like you've been robbed. Like, hold on, hold on. What did I pay here for? What did I pay for the name on this one? No, you got the quality. The quality is fire. It's definitely, the quality is fire on this, which makes me happy. This is part of the fall winter 22 season. I got it again off a of restock. It was called the Eight Days of Spider. And that's where I got it from. And just so you can see how the tag inside looks, I'll do a better zoom up detail at the end. But that's how the tag inside looks. It's screen printed right on there. Guys, look how cool the tag is inside the hoodie. It's screen printed right on. Has color detail. I've actually never seen one this cool. Size large. So we were correct with that. Made in the US. Comes with the register number down below. Also tells you here, machine wash cold. As I tell you guys all the time, Trump. Tumble dry low. I don't even like to tumble dry these unless if I have a lot of stuff in there so I know the heat won't really get to it. But I usually don't even tumble dry, I just try to air dry. So once again, puff print right in the front, right on the spider. Please don't have a spider that has the eye there, that should be a five. Another thing to note, remember, little yellow stars within it, five in some of them, not in all of them. You can see that one has five, five, five. There's no fives there. There's a little bit of stars on the left side of the hoodie, not on the right side. Both sleeves have the stars. Both sleeves have five within the stars as well. So it's the same thing, not every Star has it, some stars have. For the ones that don't know about the Spider brand at all, this just came to mind. There's probably some of you guys out there that had never heard of it or know Young Thug makes music. You thought he probably only had a merch brand like for his actual music and stuff and didn't know he had a streetwear brand called King Spider. If you don't know, let me inform you. Spider's a streetwear brand founded by Young Thug, launched in 2019. Spider features familiar Thugger logos from rhinestones to spider webs across hoodie to t shirts, trucker hats, and much more. They sell Spider on GOAT, Stock X, and their actual clothing. Let's go do this try on if you guys have any more questions about spider or want to see more of it on this channel please let me know if you have any questions about the brand i can do my best to research it and try to answer your questions if not let's try this on we'll do the zoom up details at the end comment down below let me know if you own anything from the brand free thugger are you a fan of thugger or are you a fan more of the king spider brand than you are of him let me know down below what are your thoughts but let's go try this on Yo, I ain't gonna hold you guys. The size large was perfect. The size large was perfect. I ain't even tied the strings at all. Strings are still exactly how they came on. Just threw them on perfect. Nothing too, too big. Pants a little wide how I like them. Hoodie fits perfect. Look at the sleeves right around my cuffs. Perfecto. 6'2", 175, 76 pounds. This is how a size large is rocking on me. What you guys think? I'm gonna do a zoom up closer to just the pants. And then one of just the top so you guys can see a better look at each. Just wanted to let you guys know I went on the website to just see what their official site was on where I ordered it from. I ordered it from kingspider.co. I went on their IG. That's the site that I ordered it from just to make sure it went back on my email just to make sure. They have nothing up right now. That's why I was mad. They have nothing up right now. It acts for like an email and a password. So if you guys are looking for it, just keep your eyes out. Follow them on IG. That's what I did. And I ended up seeing that Eight Days of Spider. That was back in December. I'm sure they'll do something again pretty soon. They dropped an Atlanta one not too long ago. It was navy blue with pink on it. That shit was super hard too. I like the pants to that one a lot. So just keep your eye out. Follow them on IG. I believe the yellow suit's about to come out. That yellow suit's serious for the summertime. What you guys think? You a fan? You not a fan? I'm gonna do a zoom up closer to the hoodie and one of the pants this shit feels super comfortable super comfortable the pants feel real nice pockets real deep what you guys think about this is it a look you like if you guys got any questions let me know i'm gonna do the zoom up details show you guys everything but before we do that show you guys the above the waist try and i'm gonna show you guys pull a pause pause here down try and i was gonna say some other crazy i ain't gonna say that but you know but make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel like me like to say until the next one <gasps> we out of here